Hi everybody, Martin and Flicking Feathers again today. I'm tying this wee teal wing sedge. It's a great wee fly for the summer. Um, or well, I mean, even late spring once the sedges start hatching, but like, it's, it's a very effective fly on the droppers, especially. Um, as always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the monthly Zoom meetings, the members on the content and be entered into the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button, that's all appreciated. So I've got my hook my vice, this is a size 12 uh, and this is a Camazan B175. You can also tie them in 170s, um, you know some folk reckon it's the lighter hook that holds up a wee bit higher in the water but to be quite honest if you're on a floating line and you're moving the flies at all the difference is very 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 slight it's negligible i've run on some uni 8 Ot and camel any kind of tanny browny color will do I'm just catching some small gold wire on my side i'm going to take it back and just go slightly around the bend The body is a mix of sulphur, um, I've got some fiery brown and some of Rob Denson's brassy olive, uh, I've just mixed it to get a sort of tobacco colour, right, like the, like the colour of rolling tobacco, and I'm just going to start that and get it up, and you can see hopefully that it's no a single tone. Right, it's the blending's quite good there. It, it, it gives you like an uneven coloration throughout the fly. So I'm going to come up the length of my body, and I'm leaving plenty of space here. I've got a body hackle to tie in, a wing, and then a hackle in front of it. So I, this fly. I can't even remember exactly where I saw it. I think it was maybe in Plustinig the first time I saw this fly, or maybe in George, one of George Barron's books. Um, but it's it's a great wee summer evening. You know, when the sedges are skitter, skittering about on the loch, and you can uh, you know you you fish this just subsurface. Maybe a muddler on the top dropper and two of these, or a muddler on the point and two of these, a light one and a dark one. And, oh, they're deadly. So I'm just getting my body hackle here. I'm going for like a, a red game hen. You could use ginger as well if you want. This is just for a cheap Indian neck that I'm using. Um, but I do also tie like a lighter version using a rusty dun the only change is the rusty dun hackle in the body um, and you can see that it sort of changes the look and what I might do would be to have you know the dark one and the light one on the cast at the same time they're very fine stems just got a full turn at the front and then work your way down just getting whatever you can out of the hackle. Now I'll take a get a turn of wire to get it started and then cross over that hackle as soon as I can and just come up as usual get your four or five turns up the body securing the hackle in place Nice and tight, and a full turn at the front. Catch it off. Just bend and bring that away. No, it looks terrible, it's all rough. Um, but you get a brush, you free the trapped tackle fibres and it becomes a bit more like the thing. Right, and I mean, but it should be rough, right? This is 
you know, you're thinking this is a sedge pupa basically, right? Um, I mean, that's what they leak this for up near the surface when there's an emergency going on. Scruffy, that's the that's your aim. The wing, obviously, it's teal, and I don't want a huge wing. I'm just going to take a wee slip from my feather, and I'm just got to roll, roll it. Quite a sparse, thin wing. I don't care about it staying together really. Um, Again, look, this will get roughed up when you fish it and the tail will all separate, but it's gives you that lovely barring through the fly when that happens. Wing length, back of the body. I'll just pinch that in. Fine. Trim away my waist. And we'll get a wee bit of wax on my thread. Tidy everything up. Just make sure there's nothing going forward with the eye. And then the front hackle is just a nice dark brown partridge. And you know, pick one that's well marked. Take away all the rubbish from the bottom of the feather and expose the tip. wax my threads, I've got plenty of grip, get that secure. I'm just going to wind this, I'm going to fold it as I go, just wind one turn in front of the other, and use up the hackle, get to the front, tie it off. The stem's quite thick, so I'm not going to bother folding it back. I'll just trim it, press it with my thumbnail just to flatten it, and then I'll tidy up my head. Build a wee neat head. See how you're sitting. That's good. And then Couple of finishes. And the fly's done. Simple, scruffy, fishes in. Right. I mean, this is, I think. To my mind, see this, this is a better sedge pupa pattern for a loch than a lot of actual like pupas, you know. The wet fly actually makes a better imitation in a lot of situations. So there you go, that's that wee teal wing sedge. Tie them light, tie them dark, adjust the colour. But, but tie them, because they work. So, hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Get lanes guys, bye.